Um, all right, let's talk about this Captain Marvel thing. I saw. Let's do it. The the extended look or whatever it was. It's like they called it a special look. Which is like, think, it's a trailer. I think mm-hmm. this is the best trailer that's been out so far. Wait, Absolutely. are they saying that because there's going to be another trailer? Or they're calling it a special I, I mean, look instead of a third trailer? It's Because kinda, it's short. Because it's only uh, it's one, a minute. one thirty. Yeah. So a minute 30. that's their version of a teaser? Is a special look? I mean, but it showed you a lot more. Oh, had. totally. Here, here my and thoughts. Was, I'm just confused on titles It was a now. blazer teaser. Yeah, well, first one just I was, a tip. first trailer thought was interesting. I wanted to know more. Second trailer I did not like. thought it started to paint the movie as really cheesy. And I was, I was starting to be like, I'm good. This one I thought combined uh, the both, uh, uh, the best of both. Um, told us li- a lot more about the story. Showed a lot more personality on Captain Marvel for sure. The more the interaction between the two of them and what we are probably going to see. There's still some cheesy stuff. I think you're going to get a cheesy movie in in general off this thing. But I think that there's a lot inside of this movie that could be very promising. And I loved this trailer because I was I was pretty let down by the last one. I like this one, too. I think that I would have liked it more had I not seen one and two, Mm -hmm. because this one felt like an explanation for previous things for people who are not massive Marvel fans, which they should do. Right. This was smart, like hitting us over the head that she's not actually punching an old woman in the face. And here's what's actually happening. And here's how you know somebody's not a scroll because what her powers are, et cetera, and actually explaining how things work. I loved that they did that. Uh, I didn't need to see the first two. Yeah. If I had just seen this, we I would have been thrilled. Yeah, I think that's, it's. I guess you know, the, the problem, the difference is. So there, I think there was a rumor, or I don't know, maybe it's not a rumor. This is what what uh, the Russo brothers said that the Avengers Endgame, what they're going to release, uh, or it's like a total of yeah. what, like. Fifteen wow. minutes. Fifteen minutes of the entire movie through all like the, towards the, be- the right. beginning. Fifteen minutes. So basically, Wait, what? basically every trailer that you see. In the Avengers Endgame, it's going to culminate to 15 minutes of the movie, no, nothing more. So you're not. So they're not. Is, is that is that accurate? That's accurate. Yeah, and and towards like the beginning of the movie, right? To save all that. This is now accurate. This is the Russos talking on the right red now. carpet at okay. Golden Globe, saying, "We trust Marvel. We t- trust Disney for the for the marketing. But this is what we want to do." And I think they will probably hold to that. Right. I'm, I'm, Can I'm hoping. They, I think do they, they get to? I don't know what that decision would be. I will tell you that they will because yeah. because the, the thing is that movie doesn't – what what you just said before about Captain Marvel, what you needed. The reason why they need, they had this particular um, trailer is that Captain Marvel is not a well-known property yet. So they're going to show more and more stuff. I think I agree with you. I think they should have led with this one. I think it gives more of the the story and what the movie is going to be about. But they're going to show more stuff because they want to try to get you in more and more and get reactions from the audience, how they're feeling. The Avengers is coming off, the end, end game is coming off one of the most successful movies of all time. And one of the most, the craziest endings in a superhero movie of all time. So people want to know how it's going to wrap up. They don't need to show more to get you in the theater. No. They can show you whatever they want to show you in the beginning that's not going to ruin and hurt. And the Russos are very good about that. They want to make sure that they don't ruin moments. I mean, they went as far in Civil War to t- digitally take out Spider-Man so you didn't know he was in it. I believe this 100%. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Brett, you see this trailer? What did you think? Yeah, I saw I, I This was another one that I was wanted to see anyway because I love the ones that I don't know anything about. And you wanted I, to I, see this trailer or the movie? No, the movie. Yeah. I, I definitely wanted to see it. And the trailer, I just I didn't want to watch it, but I watched it so I could discuss it. Yes. Yeah. And so, yeah, it did, it did teach me a little bit more about wh- who Captain Marvel is, but not uh, so much that it kind of will ruin it for me, I don't think. You know. Yeah, and a little bit about the controversy, and then we hear the line, like, you're not as powerful as you think yeah. or whatever. Then. Yeah. Her dilemma. I think we know just enough now. Agreed. They right. didn't ruin anything, but. And I saw the Brie ready. Larson in this movie that I've fallen in love with with her other movies, the Short Term Twelve and and uh, Room. Room. I, 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 I saw that movie. Room. Twenty One Jump Street. I saw her in this trailer. I didn't see her in the other ones. I saw her more. I also agree with that. Yeah. This was her strongest for sure. Yeah, you got embodying the character. Yep. You kind of got that playfulness that we didn't really get. In the other trailers, like with her sitting down with Fury and then yeah. using her, you know, and a little jokes, yeah, yeah. jokes, good and... jokes though. I thought, and yeah. I, well, some of them were cheesy, but but overall good. And I think that I learned more just what the relationship's going to be with her and Jude Law, and it's got a, it's a little reminiscent to the Star Lord thing, I think, mm-hmm. a, a little bit. I don't know my past. I don't, I don't really know what's happening. I got to discover it. Was I an Earthling? Was I not? That 
there's repetitive beats that, that we're hitting here. That That's I also don't... every sci-fi, superhero, fantasy. I want to try to get away from it. I want to see what happens. Well, but, both um, those, you know, come from source material. They both had that similar kind of thing yeah. going on. So we're seeing that. But I'm sure it's going to be, I don't know, this, this looks very good. Mm -hmm, the yeah. Ronin uh, in the background scene, you know, the connections to the Guardians of the Galaxy is probably why you're getting that as yeah, well, you yeah. know. This this is interesting to me to to start to learn about the cosmic because I think they're going to go in that direction after phase after this. I just want to see how they tie it all together because like yeah. I said, I'm 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 more this this one got me more back on the train of okay, let's let's get in the theater because I was I was this last trailer I was kind of like, yeah, let's just get to end game. Mm -hmm. Um so right now yeah, they got they got me with that one. We'll see what the next trailer holds.